I see your color ratings coming through. So don't be afraid to rate that photo with those colors, those colors. Today on the Lightroom Whisperer, we're talking about color ratings. Let's get right to it. In Lightroom, you have a lot of different ways that you can label your images so you can find them easier down the road. I use a combination of these to be able to really efficiently find different images that I like or that I want to share. You've got everything from keywords, you have star ratings, I use flags as kind of a more temporary one, and you have colors. Colors are what we're going to end up talking about today. If you actually get into Lightroom itself and you start hovering over a photograph, depending on how you have your little cell set up, it usually is going to have this little gray square on the bottom. That little gray square, if you're not hovering over the photo, disappears. When you come back over the photo and you click in that area, you're going to see a little menu appear. Now don't worry, if you don't see that little thing, you can actually come right over the photograph and use the two finger click if you're on a touchpad or right click if you're on a mouse and that's going to also open up a menu. In this menu, about halfway down, you'll find set color label. You have the same option, even if you don't see that little gray box come up. I'm going to choose a color depending on how I want to find these later on. This is going to be very different for each person. I personally use them as green is what I use to denote somebody on a workshop that I'm leading taking photographs, enjoying the scenery, doing whatever they're doing on that, but they're within that photograph. If it's red for me, there's a friend of mine in that photo. If it's yellow, they're family members. If it's blue, it's something that I've used in an article that I've written before. That's a pretty easy way for me to go back, find images, and then be able to categorize them. So in six or seven years, if I'm looking for pictures of friends in a trip that I took to Chile with them, I can type in in my keyword parameters under my filters, Chile. I can just search for the color red, and every picture that I have with a friend in Chile is going to come up. Now in this case, this is a workshop that I was leading. So if I come over and I choose green. It's going to put a border around this and show that now this person on a workshop was taking a picture within my picture. Now if I'm trying to find pictures in Lightroom that I have that green applied to, I'm going to go right now and look at all of the photographs in my catalog. And by clicking on all photographs under this little heading here, I can do that. I'm now looking at 67,530 photos, which then allows me to go up to my filter bar. Now normally I'd go in and I would end up opening this little menu and then choosing something like ratings and saying, show me just the three or four star pictures. Now in this case, I'm going to go over to attribute here. And when I click that, it's going to allow me to search for just the color. And in this criteria, the green search, it's going to look through all 67,000 plus photos and pull up the ones that were taken on workshops that have people in them that were on the workshop makes a really easy way for you to go back and find pictures of your family, uh, pictures of your friends, or whatever you like to do. Are you into cross-stitch? You can label red for all of your cross-stitch pictures. Are you into flying model airplanes? Then maybe you're going to label green for your model airplane flight pictures. It's totally up to you. I find this is the most personalized of the different readings that you can apply, and when you're filtering later on, it really helps you narrow it down. That's it for colors. There's not a lot to them, but they are a way to really help you define certain types of photography or certain types of imagery. So down the road, when you're trying to find it, you can find it much more efficiently. From the Lightroom Whisperer, get using colors and start enjoying Lightroom a bit more. I see ya. Ah.